Hello, I'm Julie Soroka with Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada at the Saskatoon Research Centre. Flea beetles are the most economically important chronic insect pest of canola on the Canadian prairies. There are two main species of flea beetles that feed on canola, the crucifer beetle, the black shiny one, and the striped flea beetle, which is also black and shiny with two yellow stripes on its back. These are both introduced species and they traditionally have had overlapping but slightly separate distribution ranges. The striped flea beetle has occurred in more northerly areas in the past while the crucifer flea beetle is uh, the main pest of the canola growing areas closer to the international border. In the last several years people have been seeing increased numbers of striped flea beetles and in areas where they traditionally were not uh, in high number previously. So given that our control and management recommendations have been developed for crucifer flea beetle uh, only, the concern arose that perhaps we are not controlling striped flea beetle accurately. And then the question arose, if this is the case, then why this shift? So this study has many components with several researchers looking at specific questions. Dr. Owen Alford here at the SRC Saskatoon has mapped the echoclimactic index of both species. He looked at where they occurred in the old world and he looked at their biological requirements to determine where they would do best on the Canadian prairies. And his results confirm what we have seen to be their actual distribution, their traditional distribution. Striped flea beetle does best in more uh, northern, cooler, temperate uh, areas, while crucifer flea beetle has its highest bioclimatic index in the uh, more southerly areas. So this shift or this movement of striped flea beetles or this increase in numbers cannot be due to abiotic factors such as the climate influencing the, the pests. I and Dr. John Govlosky of uh, Manitoba Agriculture, Food and Rural Initiatives looked at emerging flea beetles when they come out of their overwintering places. And we did this using emergence traps. Basically, we plunked traps on top of ground that was still frozen, so before the flea beetles emerged. And we found that, indeed, striped flea beetles emerge earlier and much earlier than crucifer flea beetles. This has been known for some time Bob Lamb and his co-researchers at the Winnipeg Research Centre uh, found that out many years ago. So emerging earlier in the season is the norm. Dr. Lloyd Dosdall considered flight height and flight activities of the two species. He found that crucifer flea beetle has two principal flight periods which correspond to the two generations early in the spring uh, and then the next generation is active and flying in mid-August to mid-September. We have looked at some of the heights that uh, these flea beetle fly at. We have bucket traps at ground level at one, two, three, four, five and six meters in height. And there we found some interesting results Striped flea beetle appears to fly at higher heights, if I can use that phrase, than crucifer flea beetle. So it may be that striped flea beetle it has a greater uh, ability to disperse farther or better. So that is a, possibly a slight clue in the difference of the biologies and in perhaps indicating some means of dispersal. Uh, differences.